All right, now let me introduce you to a concept from lean uh, healthcare. Now, uh, lean is all about efficiency, it's about eliminating waste, and it's about creating value for the patients. So, lean actually identifies eight types of wastes in healthcare, and there is a beautiful acronym for you to remember uh, that eight types of waste it is downtime. Now, the first one is D for defects. So defects are any any errors that that you do in your daily work. For example, if I if I uh, make some errors in documentation, or if I uh, you know if I write in illegible handwriting, etc. So those are defects. So it's a kind of waste because uh, people cannot understand what I have written, and it can lead it creates more room for errors. So those are defects in healthcare. The second one is overproduction. So think about uh, an example of overproduction. Let's say you have to document your care plan in the progress notes in your file, and then you have to go and document it in another area of your uh, electronic file or your physical file, etc. So what you're doing is you're overproducing work. You are duplicating the work. You are doing it several times, which is in effect a waste because uh, it doesn't help to add value to the patient. Uh, it only creates more waste. The third one is waiting. Now waiting, uh, primarily it is uh, waiting by the patients. So if a patient is waiting for a long time, one hour or two hours in a physician's clinic to see the physician, if a patient has to wait a long time to get some investigation done or a diagnostic procedure done, um, uh, if a patient has to wait a long time to get some reports, all these are uh, wastes of time. So waiting in healthcare is a huge, huge waste. Probably it is the, the biggest uh, kind of waste in healthcare. And waiting could also be uh, on the part of the healthcare professional. So for example, if I'm a physician and I have to wait uh, to get a particular report for my patient from the lab, and if I've been waiting for a long time, that's a sort of waste. If I have to, if I'm a surgeon and I have to wait for the patient to come to the OT, and I'm actually waiting for the patient to enter into the operating room, uh, that's a sort of waste. So these are all ways that are created by the system. The fourth is non-utilized talent. Again, uh, if if you know a nurse uh, is be, is being underutilized during her work day because the physician is taking a long time, for example, to see the patient, and the nurse has to sit idle till the patient comes to her, that is non-utilized talent. So time is being wasted there. Effort is being wasted there. The, f the fifth kind of waste is transportation waste. So this is uh, transportation of the patient. Uh, so uh, imagine a patient having to walk from one place in the hospital to another place. You know, if the patient has to walk several miles, uh, I'm just exaggerating, but if the patient has to walk uh, from the pharmacy uh, to the lab and then to the clinic, etc., that's a lot of waste. Then you have the sixth kind of weight, which is inventory. Uh, now this one is where healthcare professionals actually hold inventory. Uh, for example, you know, nurses will sometimes hold supplies just because you, they are probably concerned that uh, the next time they need supplies, it will be in short supply uh, with the uh, materials management. Um, and so, you know, they will hold some of the supplies. And this kind of holding is also a waste because uh, it will create shortage somewhere else and uh, it is being hoarded in another place where all of it is not being utilized uh, in time. So that creates another form of waste, which is the inventory waste. Now, uh, the seventh form of waste is motion. So motion is uh, movement of professionals, so movement of healthcare professionals in the system. So think about a nurse who is caring for her patient, then she has to walk uh, a few steps to go and get a fax from the fax machine, uh, and from there she has to probably go to the supplies room to get some supplies. So this is all unnecessary motion of the healthcare professional, which is another form of waste. Now the last one is called extra processing. Extra processing is if you ha add any form of uh, checks and balances in place. So, for example, if uh, if I'm a new I'm a new uh, uh, physician and I'm doing uh, I'm producing a, a piece of document, uh, a clinical document, and then if my superior or my senior has to come and examine that document and then review it, etc., uh, or probably add some comments to it, etc., that is extra processing because you are you're duplicating that work just because you want to be sure about the work that has been done the first time. Uh, 
So if the work had been done properly the first time, you would not need that level of check. So, so that's extra processing. That's another form of waste in healthcare. So, uh, you know, on the CPHQ, you may be asked a direct recall question on the on the types of waste in healthcare, or you could get an application question where they could give you an example and um, uh, they could give you, you know, three or four examples and ask you to identify which of these examples would be a waste.